Atlas, huh? Must be some kind of sweet, like, JRPG, or maybe I'm playing fucking uh, Shin Megami Tensei. I'm sure it is. Pieces? Fuck is Pieces? Well, Pieces is a game where you solve jigsaw puzzles. And, uh, by the way, uh, hello to the uh, awful survivor thread. Hello to uh, Tribe Cheesem. I'm using this challenge as an excuse to let's play a game that nobody should ever let's play, but that I like a lot for some reason. It's kind of a brainless game that you can just kind of have fun playing when you're zoned out or whatever. Now, there are three modes. Uh, obviously, there's one player versus a computer, one player versus a two player. There's also all play where you all just, like, up to four people can solve a jigsaw puzzle together. And there's, like, no competitive element or anything like that at all. is a computer. Um, we're going to start at the beginning with easy. What these difficulty levels actually mean is that um, easy starts you at the beginning and a normal starts you at one of the later opponents and hard starts you at one of the way later opponents. So let's just play the whole game. We're not going to play the whole game. I'm going to put this, put a stop to this before then. Here's Rice Bowl Crab. He'll be our first opponent. He has huge eyes, so he's pretty accurate. But he can't walk straight. He's got to walk sideways because he is a crab. Let's do this. Oh, puppies. Okay, so... Obviously, the edge pieces are pretty easy, and the corners are extremely easy. The edge pieces where... Um, uh, that are on the bottom are easier than the edge pieces that are on the sides. Uh, other than that, there is not much strategy to this. And honestly, the only strategy that really comes in is by the these uh, power-ups that you get on the sides. So we'll start with this one. The, the spotlight shows you where the pieces you're going to put in are. And you want to use those when the... Um, the middle pieces are the only pieces you have left. That really helps. Now the sonar, well you pick up a piece and then sort of it'll tell you where you need to put it. And that'll last for a little while. Uh, it'll sort of guide you. It's a little slow, so it's not perfect, but it does help. Um, probably the, the later ones are more powerful, but they're a little less useful. now. If I use this brush, that this is a real jerk move. As you can see, I can really take all the time I need because the computer at this level is not going very fast, but I can make him go even slower by pushing the brush, and then the brush will go over and remove some of the jigsaws that he's already done. Uh, better get going, though, because there is a little bit of a time limit on how long you can just wait on one uh, piece, represented by this uh, circle down here. There's an adorable beaver. As a Canadian, I approve. Um, so we have the X here. We're going to try that. That eliminates two of the options on the enemy's uh, jigsaws. Forces him to use... Oops. Forces him to use uh, just one. Which can slow him down. It's not a very good one, though. Um, we're going to try to see all of them. The juice, by the way, is, is filled up with this power meter. Every time this power meter gets to the top, you get a new one. And uh, the amount of time that is left on here is the amount that your power meter goes up by when you place the thing. So this will uh, show you the background. Oop, I still made a mistake. Uh, and that can help you fill it in, but I don't think it's as good as the uh, radar, frankly. And it, it, it doesn't last as long. Radar lasts an obscene amount of time. Uh, this mirror, I have no fucking clue what it does. So what you do with this is it puts a mirror here, and I have no fucking clue what it does. It's just there. I think it might reflect an enemy's attack. 
but I've never had an enemy attack me when I was doing it, so... And it doesn't last very long, so I actually have no fucking clue. Uh, we see all of these. Now we have pandas. He's still on the puppies. There's only three puzzles to do in each round. As you can see, the... Oh, here's the injector. The injector allows me to steal um, power from the enemy, but the enemy has no power up, so... I'm not gonna bother. I guess the last power-up didn't do anything either, but... Oh. Okay, uh, this... These arrows, it reverses the enemy's control. This is a real pain in the ass when, it, when the enemy does it to you. Um... There? Yeah. So yeah, th this is the game, by the way. This is all the game that I wanted to... Let's play? This is it. You're welcome. Okay, uh, we'll do this one. This one, um, slows the enemy's cursor down and sort of turns it on and off repeatedly. And that is also very frustrating if it happens to you. Oh, that was stupid. I really should have been less impatient with that one. You want to go as quickly as possible, but you don't want to make a bunch of mistakes, because that will slow you down a lot. Uh, oh, nope, that's the same one. There is a, there are more, there is more than one power-up that can, what the fuck? Is it here? Oh, that looks weird to me. Um, help, so, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. I, it's not gonna matter right now, because I've won. So if you can do all three jigsaw puzzles before the enemy, uh, then you win. Um, so apparently he thinks we got like, oh, he's crying. I didn't want to make him cry. I just wanted to win the game. Uh, so now we have this uh, delinquent boar. Is it Genki? That's a uh, Japanese delinquent? Is it Genki? I can't remember. Oh, well. Yaki? Is it Yaki? No. I don't think so. I didn't even really look at the, the picture that this was. I was, too, I was too busy thinking about the name of a Japanese delinquent. Let's use our... Um, use our this. Our, our spotlight power-up to get a little idea of what we're doing when we uh, only have middle pieces left. There's still a couple I haven't shown you. Uh, auto. So if you have auto turned on, you can hit the things and they will just float over to where they go. You can, uh, you can get some good work done with the auto. This is one of my favorites in terms of how efficient it is, but obviously it's not very uh, fun, really. It kind of takes the game away from the game. So we've got another castle here. Music has sped up again. Uh, the enemy has some power-ups, so we'll uh, we'll use this. As you can see, we we suck all of his power-ups away. We don't actually get them. Um, I don't usually use that one because it just—I mean, you lose your power-ups too by picking one. So why would you bother? It seems counterproductive. I guess that takes away the the the, the difficulty of trying to find the places as well. So you could, like, do a challenge run where you're like, no power-ups, I'm not going to use any of them. Um, but also, the power-ups is the only thing that makes this game not just solving jigsaw puzzles. So I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of the game as well. I'm not saying this is a good game. Whoa! Oops. I'm just saying that I kind of like to play it, um... Especially when I'm not really feeling uh, like playing a more intensive game. So let's slow him down a little bit. Oh, <laughs> that's a total waste because there's no. Um... Oh fuck! There's no. Um... Oh shit! That wasn't even the. Oh my god! I'm losing it. There we go. 
Let's do some auto. You want to auto the middle pieces if you can, or at least the side pieces. Now we have nothing but corners, so it's kind of a waste. Somehow the music still makes it seem exciting. The music is still intense and will push you to do your best, even if you're not anywhere close to losing. Oh, help. We haven't seen help yet. Help creates a, a new um, guy who runs around and, and moves the puzzle pieces for you. I should have just let him do it. Um, but it's really good if you get in the middle, but usually you get it at the end of a puzzle because it's at the very end, but it is very efficient uh, being able to solve puzzle pieces at twice the speed. That boar got so sad. Oh boy, Kiki Gilbert. So if you might have noticed... This is the character that you start as, uh, start with, like playing against, if you start on medium difficulty level. So medium difficulty really, level really just starts you here. You know, let's try and beat this. It does get hard at, at some point. The computer gets very good at solving these fucking jigsaws. Ooh, can't make mistakes like that when you're playing on the harder difficulty levels against the harder opponents. That will cost you. It's a, it's, it's a, an instinct to try to go as fast as possible because I know this game gets hard as far as having to play very efficiently is concerned, but you also can't make mistakes, and those kind of mistakes will really fuck you. Let's use the auto. Let's throw the, um, the middle pieces in. Side pieces if you can't throw in. Middles. See, that almost cleaned up that whole puzzle for us. There's a stealth bomber. Some of them are cooler than others. They're, uh, the one thing about this game that I will criticize, actually I will criticize a lot about this game, uh, it's really dumb. There's some criticism. Um, but, oh, he drained my power-ups. It was a good thing I used it right before he did that. Um... One thing that I think is uh, dumb about this game is why would you not put in more puzzles? Like, honestly. Should be more puzzles in this puzzle, in this game. Because, like, looking at the puzzles is cool because they're 16-bit and they're Japanese and it's, it's just weird. They've got a weird quality to them. Um, but also... Uh... Why? It's, like, these cannot be the thing that is taking up a lot of space on this card. Let's fuck up his puzzle. We'll fuck it up. Ha ha. Like, even, on, even assuming that the cartridge is really small to, to save on space, right? Surely there's enough room on this cartridge to have tons of puzzles. But you do end up getting repeats. That sucks. But, you know, it doesn't make me hate this game. I still love this game. And I don't know why. I think it's just the art. I think I just really like the art in this game. And I really like the music. I really do like the music. Um, let's fuck up his controls. That'll slow him down on these last pieces. Oh, and he fucked up my controls right back. Well, you get what you give. This is hard. <laughs> this is annoying. It really does make this more difficult. Now, you'll notice, I think there's a thing where, I think there's a slight catch-up mechanic, where um, the length of time that you get your power-ups depends on how far along you are compared to your opponent. I could just be imagining that, but it seems like when you're further along, um, the power-ups, the negative power-ups last longer on you, and the positive ones don't last as long. He, oh yeah, he has concentration power. Good luck with that shit. Revengeful Ryoko. Any attack? Now, you have to pay attention here. You cannot slow her down. Any attacks that slow her down are actually useless. That's real. You cannot use the slowdown power-up against her. 
Now we are getting into some dinos. This is about where it gets almost close. The... Um... The... Challenge starts around here. I don't think I lose to Ryoko very often. Um, but I do think... Ryoko is about where the game gets tough. Uh, at least where they get to the last puzzle. Wow, I can't be doing that. That's, oh my god, that is really embarrassing. Um, I think Ryoko really... Oh shit, she slowed me down on the auto. That's really countered that auto very well. Uh, really helped, kept me from making the most of that auto. That's a shame. See, no, I guess I'm really handily beating her. But just to show, I'm gonna push the button that slows her down, and as you can see, pushing the button to slow her down has not slowed her down at all. The cursor moves at the same speed as normal. Oh, shit. Um, here we go. There is nothing keeping her down if you try to use the, um, the slowdown on her. So you actually have to pay attention to those messages that they tell you at the beginning of the game if you want to know exactly what isn't or is or isn't going to work on your opponent. Sometimes they reveal a weakness. Sometimes they talk about what they're immune to. Now you can do this, but it doesn't seem like it holds her back very much. I don't think, I think that counts. I think it counts as something that she's immune to. Um, see, she's on the same puzzle I am on, and she is using her power-ups to her advantage. I'm going to beat this puzzle before her, but she get about halfway through two by the time I was done with the two. So it is picking up. Business is picking up in pieces. like to hold her um, power-ups until I'm going to use one of mine and then fuck with me then. So maybe we should take help because she can't really interfere with help. Yeah, we're going to take help. We're going to get this last puzzle done quickly thanks to the assistance of our helper. Um, when the helper is on, you can kind of take your time a little more with the harder ones, or you can just let him do the harder ones. Let him finish it off. There we go. Thank you, Helper. We've defeated Revengeful Ryoko, the Japanese horror ghost, the grudge. The grudge was not uh, fulfilled today. Now, this is the character that you start with when you play on hard. Uh, Tinkerbell Ganoff is the hard mode character. So you really just skip all the way up to this point if you start the game on hard. We've got a figure skater. She's got a little butt on her. That's nice. Uh, no. Fucking it up. Fucking it up real good. F continually fucking it up. Now, I think, nope, I'm going to need that spotlight for these, um, fuck. Oh, and she's slowing me down. She's agonizingly slowing me down. Tinker Belganoff is, is the beginning of hard mode, so she can be a bit tri tricky to fight. See, she's getting really far. This is going to be a problem. We need to, like, pick up speed somehow. Uh, that's good. Yeah, she's on the, the second puzzle already. And we should be able to slow her down. Oh, fuck. I've made too many mistakes on this. And she's slowing me down again. Let's slow her down back. There we go. We need to slow her down. Oh, fuck. 
Why? It's not the same one. They look identical. God damn it. Let's hit her with this, too. That'll keep her from being able to do exactly as she wants. But the most important thing is that we just have to fucking start. Oh my god! That's just a misclick. Just a misclick. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good to go here. Oh, good. The brilliant commentary. Oh, this is gonna go here, I guess. And then this one will go here. Yeah, sometimes you just need to start spanning those spotlights so that you don't make mistakes. And that's kind of, um, oh, she's slowing me down again. Agonizing. Agonizing. It's a good time to go for easy pieces, though. Now, as you can see, that, that slowdown didn't last very long. And I think that's because I'm behind. We have got, we have got to fuck with her. And so I've stored up enough to get the, um, the brush, which is the best way to slow anybody down. Um, and then when we select it, we can save it. Oh, we can save it for when she's got some more pieces down. And then while the puzzle is changing, we can go in and we can break some of them up. And that's going to give us... Oh, she slowed us down. as punishment. Um, that's there. There we go. That's going to be there. It is neck and neck right now. We need those spotlights. It's uh, gonna go there. It's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. Let's slow her down. It's neck and neck. We can do this. It's just a question of will we? The music is intense. Everything comes down to this. Oh no! We're getting our shit kicked in by this uh, paintbrush. Paintbrush is really fucking our shit up. If we can paintbrush her back, then we'll be two paintbrushes to one. But she's getting very, very close. We're gonna lose this. Nope, we're fucked. And as you can see, hard mode is hard. She can't help but be bad. Who could hold it against her? Let's try one more time to see if we can beat Tinker Belganov. You gotta dial this in. I gotta... I gotta be as good as, at this as possible. We're doing flowers. I can't make the same mistakes I made. Mistakes like that. Look, these are mistakes. These are the kind of mistakes I can't make. I cannot. We're gonna use the... Uh, nope. That's not where that goes. No, that is just dumb. I don't know why I did that. My brain is stupid. She's beating us a little bit, but we can catch up. We just need to really nail these um, side pieces and all this. We need to do very efficient work. Let's slow her down. We need to use our power-ups judiciously uh, and efficiently and really fuck her up. We're gonna have, ooh, we're getting slowed. That's an unfortunate situation for us. Thankfully, we're not gonna fuck up any of these things. Okay, we are four puzzle pieces behind. We need to slow her down. We need to fuck her up somehow. Oh, we really need to be playing more efficiently. Let's give her the reverse. We'll give her the old reverse. That's great. It's a great way to slow her down. We've made some progress. I'm trying not to look over there too much because it will slow me down, but I do want to be able to comment on what's happening. I'm just going to dial it in. We're just going to fucking puzzle piece it up. We're not going to worry too much about... Oh, we got our power-up stolen, right? I was about to use one, and it got stolen from me. That... Tinker Bell? Ah, oh, I screwed up. Big mistake. We're going to use the sonar to try and uh, more quickly and easily fill in these pieces. I'm going to slow her down a little bit with that. It doesn't really slow her down that much, but now that I know she's going to screw up my... Oh, we're like two puzzle pieces behind now. We're two pieces behind. We 
to make it happen. She's doing that. Let's get the help. The help will help. It's kind of bad in this situation where um, we have um, this um, thing where we're fighting over the same pieces, but that's okay. We are now being reversed, but that's not too bad. We did it! We've defeated Tinkerbell. Neck and neck, but we have done it. Woo. She's very unhappy. We've got the Sea Queen now. The background is, is filled with her laughter. She loves to steal our chances of victory. So unfortunate. But we have to be on our A game in order to make this work. If we want to beat the Sea Queen, this is where all the marbles are won and lost. We're going to use the spotlight. We're going to try to get our pieces where they need to be as efficiently as possible. And the spotlight helps us to keep from making mistakes. By the way, this particular art, it kind of looks like Ogopogo. I live in Penticton, where Ogopogo is from, and uh, it looks like Ogopogo to me. Go ahead and Google the Ogopogo. It's like a weird, um, our power-ups are being stolen. That is not ideal, but it does keep her from using worse power-ups on us. So frankly, it's not the worst thing that could happen. Um, the worst thing would be for those power-ups to be used on us. Uh, more so than us not having access to them. We're Five puzzle pieces ahead. We're doing very well. We'll slow her down. Oh, that's not it. That is it. So when with the side, you can make mistakes fairly easily. Um, with the middle pieces, it's very easy to make mistakes. Um, but with the bottom pieces and the corners, it's basically impossible. So you really do want to use those... Uh, bottom pieces and the corners, bottom and top, and the corners. And when you do that, um, it sort of fills in the landscape for you a little bit, and that helps you to not make mistakes on the middles later. We're going to do an auto. We're going to keep cranking out pieces. This is most useful just because it's faster than your normal port cursor is. You don't really use that um, for any other reason. It looks like the Sea Queen is going to go down uh, in one shot. Assuming she doesn't have any kind of ultimate plan. We'll slow her down. If she has some kind of weird capability she could screw us over, then that could hurt. Um, but for now, it seems like that was a really stupid mistake. That wasn't even the right shape of piece. Um, it seems like we're going to be alright. Got a good, solid lead. Oh no, that is the kind of thing that can fuck us. That is definitely the kind of thing that we were worried about. That's gonna hurt our lead a lot. Oh man, making mistakes is not the best either. Let's use this, the spotlight. I'm paying attention to things other than what I should be paying attention to. All right. Caught up back up with us in a way that is unfortunate. But we will rise above and we will win. I believe in myself. I can do this. I think it's there. Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna fuck her right back. Take that. One, what you get what you give. One good turn deserves another. We're good now. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be just fine. Excellent. The Sea Queen has gone down. We are serious, actually. And we did beat you. There she goes. Covers herself with her fan in embarrassment. Six. 
Now we have a mecha. It's a super robot defeated to built to defeat me. Well, let's see if you can. You're gonna have to do better than the Sea Queen did if you hope to defeat me. This is gonna end up being a full let's play, basically. I hope so. If we keep winning, then it will be. If if we start losing, then I will stop. Doing well so far. Everything's going very efficiently right now. So if you start filling in some of the some, uh, the, the corners and everything, it makes the shape of the field more obvious, and that helps you to not make ooh mistakes like that one. Let's steal his power-ups for some reason. I don't know why I did that. inefficient use of our power-ups, which is could end up costing us, but uh, frankly, we're doing quite well, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. We are three puzzle pieces ahead. Ooh, that's no good. Ooh, that's no good. I have no idea where that goes. Let's use the spotlight. Making too many mistakes. The shape of the, this one is a little confusing. In fact, this might be the kind of one where I use the you can see the background power more. I don't like that one. It doesn't last a long time. Let's use auto. Let's just make sure that we get lots of pieces quickly and efficiently. We'll use the auto. It's very efficient use of your power up power. Also slow him down, that'll help. Okay, good. We're well, well, well in the lead now. You don't have to worry too much. We'll slow him down. It's a good use of your countdown time uh, to, to do a slowdown. Because some of the some of the power-ups you can use while the countdown is going on, some of them you cannot. Um, so if you want to do something while the countdown is going on. Uh, the ones that you can press are a good idea. Except for the sonar. For some reason, you can press the sonar, and I'm not super sure why, because that will just waste your sonar time. It's really a shame. Uh, but the sonar does last a long time, so I guess you wouldn't be too worried about it. If you were just doing it um, for fucking around having this insane. Just to, just to have something to do. We've done it. The robot is no problem for us. Gephalt Doppular has lost to a human. It is no mistake. Goodbye. Get in your plane, turn into a plane, and fly away. Mystery Man! Very powerful person. Kind of looks like a clay man. He has an unknown power. Will we see what that unknown power is about? We may. It's an orca. We're looking at an orca. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure what this power is exactly. I know I've seen it before. But it's... Uh, Exact nature is eluding me right now. Um, but I think it'll be visible when we see it. Uh, you might see it better over there um, than I will while I'm just paying attention to my own screen. If it's a, a power that he has on his own, he certainly is good at um, getting lots of power-ups quickly. And that might be a big part of it. Uh, or it might be the entire thing. Yeah, he's done his first puzzle. This is where I normally have problems um, being successful. Oh, his helper stays for a long time as well. We are very far behind. Um, let's do this to him. Just for 
argument's sake. Uh, this goes on the bottom. Here we go. We're gonna use the spotlight. Nope, that's gonna be this one, and then this one will be this one. And so long as we have signs, we can pretty much get that done. This is fucked. This is completely fucked. We're, we're not gonna win this. So this is gonna be the end of the Let's Play after this, I think. Um, it's definitely gonna be the end. Uh, we are not gonna be able to beat this guy. He is too powerful. He's on three, we're on two, we're getting completely green. Now he's breaking our stuff, which is really unfortunate. We'll use the auto to try and catch up, but it's not gonna work. We're just not good enough to beat the mysterious man. The mysterious man is too mysterious and too powerful. He just can't be beaten. Um, not by this jigsaw man. I'm a puzzler, but I'm not puzzled enough. Puzzling enough to defeat the mystery man. There he is. There we're done. Sorry, mystery man. We could not even give you a, a very good challenge. It does make him impossible to beat, and I'm going to accept that as a fact. Impossible. So that's pieces... Um, it's uh, published by Atlas, made by Quarry, which I mostly know is a company that makes arcade parts and, like, fight sticks. And that's, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Pieces, or the entirety of, of Let's Play Pieces. Um, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the all-play section, even though we can't really take advantage. Uh, there's a time limit. Let's just, uh, let's just take our time. And some of the difficulties on the time limit have, um, have fake pieces, which is weird. Also, the, the puzzles in this mode are bigger, which is a little weird. Um, and you don't get any power-ups. It's just, a. Uh, a way of, uh, nope, uh, it's just a way of, uh, allowing you to play the, these, uh, jigsaw puzzles without being too, uh, stressed out by the multiplayer aspect. These flashing ones down, you get uh, a roulette that either gives you points or takes away points, or it can also mess with the time limit if there is one. I'm really very terrible at this. Uh, is it here? There we go. Those, those edges now. I don't, I don't even remember what this looked like exactly. Uh, now that we've got that, we can fill this in a little better. I honestly thought she was on the other side. I should really pay more attention to the previews. Uh, is this like... Yeah, there we go. Let's try the roulette again. Zero. So no, nothing of value was on our lost. Obviously, this is harder because there's way more edge pieces, or there's way fewer edge pieces in, in contrast to the rest. No, I am really ballsing this up. Uh, that's not it. It's gonna be like this one, right? There we go. Well, 
puzzles, but I, I barely played this at all because to me the multiplayer challenge part of this was the part that's like fun. But I mean, this could be fun maybe if you had the multiplayer, like if you had lots of people doing this at the same time and you were trying to beat a time limit. But I've never played that because weirdly, nobody wants to play pieces with me. Oh, do we have a fake piece? I think we do. I think we have fake pieces on. Yeah, these are fakies. I, I, I thought the regular... I thought that this mode didn't have fakies. Uh, but it appears that it does. Uh, there we go. Seemingly fakies are in. That was, that was confusing me a little. There you go. And then you get a second one. But we're going to call it there. Peekaboo. Oh. Whatever the picture is on this looks funny. Maybe we'll do this one. I just want to see what this looks like. I don't think I've ever seen this picture before. I haven't played like a good trillion hours of this or anything. It's just having played any amount of this is unusual. Nobody has played this. I mean, people have definitely played this, but nobody has played as much of this as I have, I'm guessing. Um, and, and really, I haven't played that much of this. Oh my god. I'm, I'm in a hurry again. I need, this isn't even... Oh, it's. I think we've seen enough of this. It's sort of a pattern of fo happy faces and funny faces. So that's enough. Um, thank you for watching. Please always never vote me out. Please, please never vote me out. Um, that's all. Thank you. Have a lovely uh, Goon Survivor. Bye.